Okay, so here we're simulating the return plenum, right? This is a point of reference. This is where your bypass pipe would come from your evaporative humidifier. First and most important step, we need to be six inches minimum above the top of the bypass. So we took a tape measure, we measured up six inches, we drew a flat line so we know right where we want our control to install. In order to do this, we're going to need to cut into the ductwork on the return side so that we can make a space for our sensor here. This requires a three quarter inch hole to be cut into the ductwork so the sensor can be placed into the stream of air. This foam gasket will seal it so that we don't have any interference from outside air. Okay, so we've drilled our three quarter inch hole in the ductwork for our sensor. Now it's time to put the control in place. Here's how we do it. First thing we need to do, remove the style slides right off. Then we can pop the cover off of the control. This exposes where we have our screw holes for mounting to the ductwork and also allows you to align your sensor. Okay, so we've dropped our sensor in place with the hole that we've cut out. I've secured our control with one sheet metal screw on the left. On the right hand side, we have a larger opening. This allows you to rotate the control up and down as needed to ensure that you get your control level on the ductwork. Now, before we put our cover back on our control, we have several steps that we have to do. One of the first ones we should take care of is the setting for our water panel change, which is right here. Now, if you look real close, it'll show it on the instructions. This is actually a little arrow that is cut out into this white portion here. This is currently set to off. What we're gonna wanna do for a 500, 600, or a 700 is make one of three choices. We can either leave it at off which will never tell a homeowner when to change the water panel. We can take our little screwdriver and we can rotate that arrow to B, which is what you would use if there was hard water, and that will tell it to change the water panel every 300 hours of operation. Your other option is continue rotating down to C. C is for normal humidifier operation. This will tell it to change the water panel every 600 hours. So we're gonna leave it at C. Next, we have to decide, are we gonna let this control run in auto or manual? We at April Air recommend that you always run our automatic digital humidifier control in auto mode. However, should you want to use manual, you simply flip this switch to the right, and when your control powers on, you will see a little M at the top right corner of the control indicating that we are in manual mode. Finally, we're gonna to have to wire our control up. So this is your wiring terminal strip right here. And we're gonna walk you through right now where you would connect all of our wires in order to ensure proper humidifier operation. Your first one is your R and C. This is gonna give you the 24 volts from the HVAC equipment. If you reverse the R and C terminals on the humidifier control, you're not gonna get proper operation. So ensure that you've got that taken care of the right way. The ODT is the outdoor temperature sensor terminals. This is where you would hook up our outdoor temperature sensor. Please refer to the installation guide for proper outdoor temperature sensor placement. W is for your heat from your HVAC equipment. G is the fan from the thermostat. Your H terminals are your solenoid control output. And your GF is the fan signal to the HVAC equipment for using blower activation. All right, so now it's time to put our humidifier control face back on, okay? Really simple to do. All you gotta do is take this, line it up. It's gonna snap in place, you'll hear it click, and you're on. Now, we're gonna wanna take our dial and reassert our dial. So there's a flat end on this. We just line it up with the flat end here, and everything is in place. From this point, it's a couple more decisions we have to make. First one being, do we wanna run with blower activation on or off? At April Air, you're always going to have us tell you to run it on. It's the only way to guarantee that you are going to get the proper gallons per day from your humidifier. So we say, always leave that on. If you would like to turn it off, it is a little toggle switch underneath. You flip it to the left, it's off. Flip it to the right, and it's on. Then you're done. 